Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. Well friends, in this program I will be teaching you uh, the C program to demonstrate the relational operators. To demonstrate the relational operators, I am going to use uh, the three variables here respectively A, B and C and i and i'll initialize these variables with some value okay let's assign 2 to a 3 to b and 4 to c right so now i got 2 in a 3 in b and 4 in c the the result of relational operation is going to be either true or false so let us see that and to to see the result of relational operator I'm using the printf function along with the operation right so I am doing here so first I will check for a is more than B so this will print uh, uh, this will be printed as it is so let's go and try this CLR SCR control F9 so is more than B so the, there is nothing a uh, change in it so to get the result of A is more than B or not I must use the relational operator here so for that I am doing this equal to percent D so this is the place where I'll be getting uh, the true or false which means 1 is equal to true and 0 is equal to false so this is the placeholder for that okay so now put a comma and here I am talking about the relational operation A is more than B so this is the operation right A is more than B so it doesn't matter if if we give the spaces if you put the spaces between the expression okay this will also work very finely control F9 so A is more than B is equal to 0 that means A is not greater than B so can, uh, can you see here A is 2, B is 3 2 is not more than 3 right so let's go and copy this statement control insert and shift insert now I'll change the uh, operators here A is less than B A is greater than or equal to B a is lesser than or equal to B A is equal to C A is not equal to C right so let us change here as well lesser than B right control F9 so A is more than B which is wrong A is less than B right A is more than or equal to B wrong because A is 2 and B is 3 A is lesser than or equal to B right A is equal to C no A is not equal to C right so these are the relational operators so the relational operators going to return either true or false which means 0 or 1 so now friends let's go and perform the logical operations so friends in this program I'll demonstrate uh, the working of logical operators how they work and we'll see how they result in uh, different situations in different logical conditions okay so for that I'm going to use three different uh, variables having three different numbers right and I'll initialize these numbers with some value a is equal to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 3 and c equals to 3 right so friends just look at the statement I'm telling here uh, the logical operation a is more than b or b is more than a so this will return true if either the condition is true 
if any of these conditions evaluates to true so the or statement will return the true is a more than b no is b more than a yes so the second part of the condition got true then i'll get the result as true so let's run this program i'm sure i'll not get anything just the string of this one i've just got whatever i've written in this statement so let's have some appropriate condition here so let's put comma a is more than b or b is more than a right so look at your friends so i've separated uh, the conditions with the parenthesis and or operator is present here so equals percent d right control f9 so a is more than b b is more than a which value is to 1 so what's mean <coughs> so i've got 1 means the condition is true because or or will produce or will produce the true result when either of the two condition is true let's copy this and paste for other operations so in the second print of statement i got the logical and operation so this is true when both the conditions are true let's go and run this control f9 so a is more than b no b is more than a yes but the final result is false because both the conditions should be true to produce the true result so this is the format of not operation so it it usually reverses the result right b is more than a which is true but we still get the result as false that is what not does so i'll put here not b more than a right let's run this control f9 so b is more than a which is true but i've got false as result because i'm performing the not operation so well friends i hope you understood the logical operators so so friends i'll demonstrate the bitwise operators in this program for that uh, i'm going to take two integers here a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 as well okay so here i got a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 and now perform the bitwise and operations so remember uh, the bitwise operations bitwise operators work at the bit level if i say a and b that means we are going to uh, we are going to have the and operation that means logical multiplication between a and b so, right so to store the result i'll use one more variable called c now go and print the result c equals to a and b right so a and b let's go and print the result print f a and b equals to percent d comma c so now c has got the result after the logical multiplication between a and b so try to assume uh, the binary sequence of 1 um, so and we are doing the logical multiplication 000001 at the end 00011 at the end so when both are ones so the result is also one right so let's find out that control f9 yes it is so when i change this to 0 so it's obviously be 0 right so let us try the or operation a or b so this is a or b so a is 1 b is 0 which means 0001 or all zeros so we are doing or operation between 1 and 0 control f9 which is 1 because 1 or 0 is 1 right when we have both ones obviously be one yes when we have both zeros so the result is zero right yes and now i'll show you how bitwise xor works okay so the bitwise xor operator is represented with this symbol right the caret symbol 
normally XOR will produce the true value when either of the input is true or either of the input is 1 when both when both the inputs are same it will produce the false right if I say a x or b here and if I go and print the c let's see what happens because now a has got 1 and b has got 1 when I perform a x or b let's see what happens control f9 A x or B is equal to 0 because A and B are having the same values when I change this to 0 and 1 let us see now A, A x or B is producing the result 1 because x or will produce the true value when either of the input is true or either of the input is 1 and now I'll show you how uh, right shift operator right shift bitwise right shift operator works so here I've got 8 in the variable A and now I'm going to uh, shift the bits right uh, towards right in the variable a b is equal to a right shift uh, 2 so this means uh, this operator this right shift operator is going to shift the two bits to the right so the variable has got uh, the decimal 8 in it and the binary equivalent of 8 is this of uh, four zeros 1 and 3 zeros right so when we try to shift the bits towards right by two positions the resultant will be this one so you can figure out with the digit 1 the, the digit 1 has moved to this place that means we have shifted the bits towards right by two positions so every every bit has shifted towards right by two positions so the empty places here at the left side will be filled up with the zeros so after shifting so after shifting the resultant is this which means uh, this will produce if we try to produce the resultant of this uh, we will get the decimal 2 so let's find out that so now let's go and print the result let's see what happens printf a right shift uh, 2 equal to uh, let me add the clear screen here yeah so a right shift 2 results in 2 so this is what happens when we shift the bits to the right by two places so let us perform the left shift operation so I'll just replace the operator uh, which is here left shift right so a left shift by two places let's run this program control F9 now in this case uh, the value after bits being shifted to left by two places the value is 32 so I hope you understood uh, this concept now I'll show you the last operator which is called as once complement when I perform the once complement here so this uh, we use the tilde operator to perform the once complement so let's run this program control F9 so now the complement of 8 is minus 9 well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn thank you